here's what's next. Sophie Formica coming up next on the web. Music gets wired and the web's rocking around the world from the way you see and hear it to the way you buy concert tickets. The digital music revolution has begun. An actor Michael Keaton seeing double, or is that triple? We'll join him live on the web for a wacky look into the wild new world of his new movie and its website. I'm Brian Copeland. You know what had to happen? Comedy goes cyber and turns up both in clubs and online. We'll check out one of the most unusual comedy experiences you've ever seen. Plus, once again, I'll dip into the trash and pull out the worst of the web and induct it into the Hall of Shame. And I'm Justin Gunn. You know, the women of the web want you to know a thing or two about them and why they're on a different mission than the men. Finding it hard to keep up with the continually changing software out there on the web? Well, we have some cool new ways to cut through the confusion and tune up your computer. It can only happen on the web, and that's the name of our show, and it's next. From the CNET studios in San Francisco, I'm Sophie Formica. And I'm Brian Copeland. Welcome to the web. Well, 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 it's that time once again, folks, the Hall of Shame. That's where I rake the sewers of the internet so you don't have to. First up, Barbie Love. Now, I don't necessarily like to pick on people just because they have a lame homepage, so Eileen, don't take this personally, but come on, Barbie Love? This homepage with close-ups of the 1964 side part bubble cut? I mean, really? I understand that people like Barbies. I understand that they're an important icon in our culture. I, all right, I don't understand that, really. And after seeing this homepage with its fashion critiques, way too detailed descriptions, and phone lists of important Barbie numbers, I think for the first time I know why Ken is not anatomically correct. Teddy bears, those soft, plush, warm, obnoxious creatures are taking over the web. Yikes, it's the Teddy Bear Picnic Grounds. Everything you ever wanted to know about teddy bears. 140 links to teddy bear sites, bears by the sea, good bears of the world, the bear teak, all together now. Who cares? Well, while you and I are watching the Olympics, guess what Justin was watching? The unofficial chip side of the 1996 Olympic Games. Now, we're not talking about chips to snack food. We're talking about the 70s TV series starring Latin hunk and hairspray abuser Eric Estrada and that other guy who's in the Federal Witness Protection Program now or something. Well, the games are over now, and the series has been canceled since, well, you know. But here's the tips website anyway. You've got blow-by-blow -blow plot descriptions, an episode guide, and here in all its glory, the Chips Frequently Asked Questions page. Tired of watching Chips reruns at 4 in the morning? You can get on the web and check out Chips picture galleries. There's even video clips for those of you who can't find those reruns. Run for the hills, folks. Ponch and John are back, and they're on your computer. Ah! Thanks for all the email with suggestions for the Hall of Shame. But you guys aren't sending me any bad ones. Don't be shy. I want the shameless. You can email me at shame at cnet.com. Well, you don't have to log even half as much surfing time as old Brian does to hit the error message wall. You know, you try and log on to some cool website and instead you get a big bad error message. You know, one of those. For more on the best of the web, go to CNET Online, where this week we also visit a comic chat room and a poetry and literary e-zine. For a look at what's coming up on the new edge, here's host Ryan Seacrest. Thanks, Richard. Coming up on The New Edge, you'll see some revolutionary technology that allows police to pinpoint deadly gunshots from miles away. That's on The New Edge, coming up after CNET Central and the web.